Hello and welcome. Today we are going to have a look at the introduction of chlorine. And we know that chlorine has a chemical symbol of Cl, capital C and small l. This is how we represent an element of chlorine in chemistry. And it has atomic number of 17. Atomic number basically means the number of protons in the nucleus of this chlorine atom. So chlorine has atomic number 17. This is the number of protons. When you look at the atomic number, that means chlorine's electronic configuration. Electronic configuration will be 287. So obviously chlorine, all these elements that we look at are very small for us to see them. But at least people have studied them and they realize that any atom that has 17 protons, that will be a chlorine atom. When you look at chlorine in the environment, it's quite hard to find in free form. Free form we mean chlorine not combined to anything. So in free form, it's very hard to find chlorine and we shall find that chlorine is a diatomic element meaning it occurs in pairs however in free form it's quite hard to find it's hard to find and in most cases we shall find it in combined form with other elements at least in combined form we are going to see that we can find it in form of salts as for example, sodium chloride. As you can see here, we have the image of salt mining. This is salt mining. And in most cases, we shall find that they are mining sodium chloride, NSCL, which is also known as common salt. So this image is from Lake Retba in Senegal. There are many lakes that can give you this sodium chloride or table salt. We also have Lake Katwe in Uganda. So you'll find that chlorine will mainly occur in combined form. When it is attached to another element, for example sodium, it could be with potassium chloride, it could be with calcium chloride and so on. When you look at chlorine, chlorine can have different atoms having different mass numbers so we have isotopes of chlorine there are quite many but we mainly have two isotopes of chlorine we have isotope chlorine 35 chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 so Chlorine 35 and chlorine 37, they have different composition in terms of relative abundance. You'll find that our chlorine 35 basically occupies around 75.77%, while the remaining percentage, we can say it's occupied by chlorine 37. So, yes, 37, which is 24.3%. So, you'll find that the Relative abundance of chlorine 35 is higher than that of chlorine 37. And we, if we do the mathematics to find out the actual mass number, putting into account the relative abundances of these isotopes, that means we shall have a rough mass number of chlorine being around 35.5. So we normally use 35.5 as the mass number of chlorine and what do we mean by mass number we mean the total number of protons plus the number of neutrons in the nucleus of this chlorine atom so we have isotopes of chlorine depending on how many neutrons they have we basically have two of them now chlorine in its free form it occurs as a gas as we have seen, it occurs as a gas which is diatomic. And in terms of bonding, these two chlorine atoms usually bond through covalent 
bonding, sharing of electrons. In chlorine gas, we have covalent bonding. As you can see in this image, we have this chlorine atom and we also have this chlorine atom. This chlorine atom has seven electrons in the outermost energy level as seen from here. We have seven electrons in the outermost energy level which are in blue. While this other counterpart also has seven which are in red. However, they are sharing these two electrons. These two electrons are being shared by each chlorine atom or by both chlorine atoms. So you'll find that these two electrons being shared, it will imply that each of these atoms tends to have a fully filled outermost energy level, 288, because it has an extra electron for the, uh, from the other counterpart. So this is how chlorine bonds through covalent bonding, and as such it will have properties of covalent compounds. Then lastly, we shall have chlorine in gaseous form, it's a greenish yellow gas. Greenish yellow, it's hard to tell whether it's green or yellow, so we call it a greenish yellow gas. That is basically about the introduction of chlorine. We shall try to look at how chlorine is prepared in the lab. At least we have seen if we want to obtain chlorine, we mainly have to just mine it from some of these lakes, like Lake Kato in Uganda. Through salt mining, we can get at least sodium chloride and we can at least use electrolysis to obtain chlorine in its free form. However, we have seen chlorine in its free form, it's a green yellow gas. This is all about chlorine. To recap, atomic number 17, it has two isotopes, meaning atoms having the same atomic number but different mass numbers, which is basically chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. We have talked about covalent bonding whereby we have sharing of electrons and the mass number being 35.5. Thanks for watching.